Rolling car. Now that you know more about the causes of motion, we should know. What is the effect of applying different amounts of force to an object? What will happen if we push two cars, with two different forces, hard push and gentle push? To answer these questions, we need to do an experiment. We will push car A with small force. Repeat the trail four times and record data in the table. And we will push car B with greater force. Repeat the trail four times and record data in the table. And we plan a way to measure the distance your cars will travel and create a simple sketch of your plan. Then we will find the average distance. What is the average distance? It's the distance of the car counted by dividing the sum of the distances of each trail into the number of trails. Look at the result. Car B move a larger distance than car A. The car moves a larger distance when it is pushed harder. By the same way, if you kick a ball harder it will move a larger distance and faster. Hard push causes the object to move a long distance. Gentle push causes the object to move a small distance. What will happen if we apply the same force on two cars with different size? If the push force is the same, the smaller the object the larger the distance. That is why the small car move larger distance than the big car if there is the same push force. You are excellent. In the next video, we will start with the seventh lesson, energy, work and force. Please like and subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon to get new videos.